So we are, we are working uh, uh, on PD. Uh, regarding Alzheimer's disease, it is ve very well known. It is, uh, you can see it uh, looking at, uh, at MRI, you see the atrophy of hippocampus and some memory problems. This is very, very clear. It is very well known. But it is not so well known in, in Parkinson's disease. And so we see there is a volume reduction uh, different from, uh, uh, from healthy subject, uh, age-related healthy subject, but it is not related to the memory. Or not, not only the memory. Of course, if they have some memory impairment, then uh, hippocampus is also um, uh, uh, reducing the volume. But uh, if the memory is normal, the cognition otherwise is normally normal. Uh, the hippocampal reduction is linked to uh, to other issues in in Parkinson's disease. In Parkinson, we are working on various studies. Uh, uh, so, for example, we are working on white metal lesions uh, in uh, uh, and we we published already that the white metal lesions can also influence memory impairment in in Parkinson's disease. And we, are, we continue to work comparing the white metal lesions in Parkinson's disease with Alzheimer's disease. And we can say that, that uh, it is the periventricular uh, white metal lesion that is uh, uh, linked with uh, cognitive issues in Parkinson's disease, while it is subcortical uh, white metal lesion that is linked uh, to the cognitive uh, problems in Alzheimer's disease. This, despite of the fact that uh, the uh, periventricular white metal lesions are larger in Alzheimer's disease than in Parkinson's disease, but the location plays a role in relation to the underlying disease pathology.